So today's holster video is going to be uh, four holsters in one, or in this case, five just for you guys. It's going to be the um, Shapeshift Core Carry Pack from Alien Gear. Um, now, many people of different shapes, heights, and sizes with different guns than, this, than the one I'm going to show you in particular, which is a SIG P938, um, may have different opinions or different experiences of this gun. Um, but overall, the core Shapeshift Carry Pack, at least the holster bases and things like that, are, are going to be all relatively the same size as far as I'm aware. They're all going to have the same accessories. Therefore, they're all going to have the same um, relative score that I'm going to give them on the um, eight points of what I consider a good holster is. Also, um, as far as uh, in the interest of fairness, I'm going to kind of glaze over all these as I go through all the four holster options. Um, the reason being, I don't want uh, my experiences and opinions with... Um, uh, my one particular gun and my one particular self um, to be too influential on uh, what the rest of you guys might think. However, I do feel that my experience with this gun, which is a 9mm compact handgun, is, a f is fairly applicable to most people watching this video because I assume that most concealed carriers are carrying compact 9mm, uh, by and large, I should say. So, that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first configuration is going to be the inside the waistband, or what I like to call the butterfly holsters. Um, so let's glance over all the, uh, the uh, eight points of quality um, fairly quickly. Uh, fitment, it is shaped just like the gun. The gun goes in well and doesn't wiggle around. Um, so fitment is going to be a 10 out of 10. Um, profile, so the overall um, size, shape, and weight of this holster. Um, no hardware on the back. Um, uh, uh, decently decently slim and compact, um, not crazy thick or anything. Um, so profile is actually going to be a 10. Um, retention, not only does it have an option for active retention, which I do believe I have sitting here in the box, which is a thumb press um, with a latch on it, but it also has adjustable active retention. So, um, so fitment, profile, retention, I'll get a 10 out of 10. Um, ease of use and versatility. Um, so how easy this is to get on and off, how easy it is um, to draw the gun, and how versatile is it. Um, so to be a little bit unfair, um, I'm going to say that versatility is a 10 just because this comes with four, or in this case, five holster configurations. Um, I'm going to say easy use for getting it on and off um, and drawing the weapon is going to be a 10 because, um, again, getting it on and off depends on the holster configuration, and there's four options. Um, and the uh, draw stroke of the gun is going to depend on the cant, which is adjustable, and the retention, which also is adjustable. So easy use slash versatility, that point of topic gets a 10, as far as I'm concerned. Um, durability, um, hard kydex shell with a, a steel core and polymer um, backing, along with uh, um, generally thick and well-built parts, um, some of which I believe are actually metal. So. Um, as far as durability, as far in, in my book, that gets a 10. Um, construction slash shape retention. Shape retention, um, obviously, as far as the holster is concerned, is fine because it's Kydex. It does kind of take a form to your body because this does have a stainless steel core in it. Um, but that's not, as far as I'm concerned, that's not really much of an issue because it is flexible enough to, to uh, take the shape of anyone who wears it. Um, as far as the overall construction of it goes, a little complicated in my book, too many moving parts for my particular taste. So I am going to snatch a point there along with the fact that these, um, uh, uh, these clips pivot instead of being affixed in a vertical position or adjustable to a fixed position. So I'm actually going to take two points off there. So um, construction and shape retention because of the construction aspect of it is going to get an 8 out of 10. Um, comfort as far as this one in particular goes. Um, it's skinny, there's no hardware showing, um, it is comfortable soft nylon, um, and uh, it, it does, um, because it's a, uh, a butterfly holster as I like to call it, it does uh, distribute the weight pretty well, which we'll talk about in a second. So as far as comfort goes, I can wear this all day without a problem, it gets a 10 easily. Um, weight distribution, obviously this gets a 10 out of 10 because it's a butterfly holster, and all of these along with all of the pancake holsters that are built well, um, all usually get a 10 out of 10 um, depending on how far apart these clips are spaced. So. Um, this is one setup, so let's get the other one set up. Next up, we have the what they claim is the appendix holster, which is a single center clip holster with half of a Kydex shell on top of a smaller backing, which is supposed to go in uh, anywhere between the 11 and two or uh, 11:30 and 1:30 position on the front of your body. So, 
let's go ahead and get started. Um, fitment, again, same shell, so it gets a 10 out of 10. Um, profile, so overall size and shape, a um, little bit thick as far as I'm concerned, and this backing could be a little bit shorter, so I'm going to be fair and I'm going to snatch off one point, so that's going to get a 9 out of 10. Retention obviously is adjustable, and not only that can come with an active retention if you so choose, um, so that's going to obviously get a 10. Ease of use and versatility. Um, this comes in and out of your pants relatively easily, so I'm going to give ease of use um, a pass on that. Um, as far as versatility, um, you know, where and when can you wear this consistently? You know, um, I can't sit down with it in the position it's intended to be, so I'm going to snatch, uh, actually, because that's a pretty serious issue for an appendix holster, I'm going to snatch two points off for that. So ease of use slash versatility gets an 8 out of 10. Um, durability, made of the same materials as the last video. Um, that's going to get a 10. Uh, construction slash shape retention. Shape retention is fine. Um, even on the backing, it doesn't really uh, hold a shape to any particular person. As far as the uh, construction of it, um, it's, uh, uh, as far as I know, it's uh, molded Kydex, um, just like the last video, so that one's going to get another 10 out of 10. Um, I w uh, well, Actually, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 just because of um, the complication of the construction of this. Too many moving parts, too many things to mess with. So um, as far as uh, construction slash safe retention, that one's going to get a 9, actually, to be fair. Um, comfort. Um, this one in particular, not at all. I hate it. It's terrible. Too, way too thick and bulky. Um, uh, the the um, degree of cant is not adjustable enough to, to put it in the place where I like it most. And I wind up using this like a butterfly holster when I do configure it this way. I wind up putting it at like 3.30 or 4 o'clock, you know, or even right in front of my back pocket. So um, comfort, in this case, I'm going to give this like a 4. Um, as an appendix holster, this is a 4. Sorry, guys. Um, weight distribution. Um, only one clip, but this one is intended to be for a small gun. However, the thickness of it places the clip relative to your gun pretty far away from your belt. Therefore, the actual support, um, if it weren't for your body, isn't really that great and can actually sag your pants right where you um, tend to mount this on your belt. So in that case, I'm going to snatch off two points um, because of those two aspects of the, um, of the mounting of this to your belt. Therefore, the weight distribution is going to get an 8 out of 10. So moving on, this one is going to be the what they call the belt slide holster. I'm going to call it more of a pancake holster. Um, so let's just get right on into it. Um, fitment, obviously, going to be the same shell as the last three you've seen. That's going to get a 10 out of 10. Um, profile, uh, so um, size and shape relative to the wearer. Um, uh, too flat and not flexible enough. So this one's going to actually get an 8 out of 10 for that. Um, this would rely on your waistline rather than its own flexibility in order to be comfortable. Um, retention, obviously active and active retention option and adjustable passive retention, that gets a 10. Um, ease of use slash versatility. Um, again, the ease of use um, would be uh, a 10 out of 10 ease of use. doesn't require you to thread your belt out of anything except for one belt loop. This one requires you to unthread out of two. Um, so that's going to rob a point there. And then versatility, um, where can and can't you wear this? It's not so much can you and can't you wear it, depending on whether you're standing, sitting, or how you're moving. Um, that's not really the issue. It's more the issue of can you wear this if you've got anything below a 36-inch waistline? Uh, and the answer is no. Um, this does not cover enough of your waist to wear comfortably with the belt. Your belt winds up coming off and taking a 1-inch 90-degree angle off of either side, depending on where you choose to wear it. So... Um, that's going to rob um, actually two points on that because uh, um, a lot of people that carry concealed are also people that share the same body type as myself. Um, I'm going to say probably the majority of them, so that's going to be an issue for a lot of people. So therefore, that's going to rob two. The easy use things going with the belt thing is going to rob one, so this is going to get a 7 out of 10, unfortunately. Um, durability, uh, same, as, same as the rest of the core carry pack, it's going to get a 10. It is pretty durable. It's well made. Um, construction and shape retention. So first off, shape retention. Um, Kydex shell is not going to be an issue, um, and the backing is not going to be an issue, so that's fine. Um, construction, again, too busy, too many moving parts, too many things to mess up or screw with um, and not get quite right. So therefore, 
the construction aspect of this is going to rob itself of a point on top of the fact this wiggles just a little bit, um, which I can forgive. Probably this is just a fluke. So um, construction slash safe retention, 9 out of 10. That, go that gets a point off. Um, comfort. Uh, sorry, guys. Terrible. Awful. The fact that uh, anybody without a 36-inch or bigger waistline, I estimate, cannot wear this as, it's, as it is intended is a huge issue for me. Um, not only that, um, if you kind of make it work or put it in kind of a different spot than it's intended to be, and so it does cover the majority of your waistline without your belt moving around on you too much, um, or doing the, doing, the, doing the rabbit hole thing. Um, uh, God, how do I be fair about that? Um, because it does work for some people, and doesn't work for others. Um, it does depend on the person rather than the product. However, the product does have some faults in that area because it's not flexible. I'm going to rob four points off for that and give it a six out of 10 as far as the comfort goes. Sorry, guys. Um, weight distribution. This one um, technically is a uh, pancake holster. So this one is going to get a 10 out of 10 because of the spacing of the, um, the two belt clips. So that's it for the belt slide, guys. Two um, this one's going to be part four, the paddle holster. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, fitment. Now we have actually the two halves of the shell put together and the fitment of it is tight. Um, that little bit of movement is actually the uh, spline on the holster. Um, so as far as how it holds the gun, it is tight. It does fit well. That gets a 10 out of 10. Um, profile of this. Uh, this one's going to unfortunately be down to a 7 because it sticks up way too far relative to how a paddle holster, oh, excuse me, relative to the um, profile of a normal paddle holster. This sticks out probably 175% as far as something like a standard Phobos paddle holster for the same gun. Um, so profile is going to get a 7 because of that. Sticks out just way too far. Uh, retention obviously is going to be adjustable, active, and um, or excuse me, adjustable, passive, and you can uh, put an active in there. So retention is going to be 10 out of 10. Ease of use and versatility. Um, the fact is, even though this is not great to sit down with and uh, walk around with because you bump into things or walk through the woods with because you snag weeds, the fact is this comes apart very easily to set on the center console of your, your truck or something like that. Um, so as far as versatility, uh, I'm only going to snag a point off for, uh, for how far it sticks out and what you can and can't walk through as far as tight spaces. Um, and then ease of use, how easy does it come on and off your belt? A uh, little bit, little bit difficult, difficult, but depends on the size and shape of the person and the type of clothing and belt they're wearing, so I'm not going to worry about that. So ease of use and versatility, because it sticks out a little far and snags onto things you're walking around, um, this one's going to get a 9 out of 10. It's actually pretty good as far as those um, aspects go. Durability, uh, made out of the same constructions that you've seen in the last videos, uh, it's going to get a 10. Construction and shape retention. Um, construction, again, too busy. Too many moving parts, too many things to screw up, too many things to not be just quite right, uh, depending on how you wear it that day. Um, so that one's going to get a point off. Uh, shape retention, Kydex holster is not an issue, so this one's going to get a 9 out of 10. Um, comfort. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that for, the, for this particular gun, um, it's relatively comfortable to wear. The, whole, the, the paddle for larger guns is just simply too small, but we're not talking about larger guns. We're talking about this gun, and for this gun with this holster, the comfort's just fine. Um, it does stick out a little bit far. If you wear your belt loose, it'll kind of sag on you and jam the edge into your thigh, but I feel like that's more dress wear than it is holsters. So this one is actually going to get a 10 out of 10 for comfort. And then weight distribution. Um, top of the paddle's not very thick. Doesn't cover a lot of uh, real estate on your waistline. Um, so therefore, the weight distribution on this is going to be a 9, um, which is pretty good considering it's a small paddle. Um, but uh, this holster with this gun, uh, weight distribution gets a 9. All right, guys, uh, fifth and final part five. This is going to be the drop leg setup with the Alien Gear um, uh, Shapeshift Core Carry Pack. Um, this does not come with the core carry pack. This was purchased separately and uh, donated to me by a coworker, along with the rest of the core carry pack. So thank you to him. He knows who he is if he's watching. Um, so this holster in particular is a drop leg. This is meant to be attached to your belt and the gun sits down on your thigh. So let's just jump right into it. Fitment. Um, same Kydex shell that you've seen throughout the first four parts. That gets 10 out of 10. Profile. This is too big around depending on the size of your thigh, and depending again on the size of your thigh, it can be too small around because of the pretty steep cup shape that it has. Um, because of that, I'm going to take two points off. 
Um, and the fact that the sticks out so ungodly far, it snags every branch, stick, and weed in sight, that's also going to get two points off. Sorry, guys. Profile gets a 6 out of 10 on this, unfortunately. Retention, again, um, adjustable, passive, and optional active. That gets a 10. Easy use and versatility. Um, this is kind of hard to get on and off. It's pretty complicated. Um, Versatility-wise, this does snap right on and off, so you can sit down in your truck pretty comfortably with it. So... Um, just because of the easy use aspect, I'm going to snatch a point off. Easy use versatility, 9 out of 10. Durability. Um, same materials as always. Um, and as far as I know, they're all very long-lasting, so durability is going to get a 10. Moving on to construction slash shape retention. Again, busy construction. Too many things. Too many straps. Um, in this case, this particular case, this is actually going to lose two points because too many straps on top of not enough straps on top of... Um, on top of uh, too wide of a, or too far out sticking of a profile on top of, on top of um, the complication of the construction of this. So I'm gonna be a little unfair here. I'm gonna snatch off two points for the construction slash shape retention. As far as the shape retention itself, it's fine, it's Kydex. So eight out of 10 on that aspect. Um, comfort, nine. It'd be a 10, but every drop leg holster should have more than one. Um, point of attachment for your belt. This one only has one, therefore it gets a nine. Um, as far as like uh, snagging weeds and stuff, I, I, I'm i talking about comfort in wearing, not comfort of using, so um, I'm not going to really count that on this one, but comfort of wearing because it only has one belt strap, nine out of ten. Um, weight distribution, again, only one strap, um, and uh, your, your thighs taper down toward your legs, not the other way around. Therefore, um, you, they, really it should only have one leg strap as far as I'm concerned, as far as most. Um, it should have one wide leg strap, just like a lot of um, drop leg holsters do. And it should have more than one point of attachment for your belt. So that's going to lose two points, and that's going to be an 8 out of 10 for weight distribution. So that concludes uh, parts 1 through 5 for the um, Alien Gear Shapeshift Core, core Carry Pack for the SIG P938. I hope you guys enjoyed um, don't take me too seriously on that. I know it's pretty specific for me, myself, and my body type, and my particular gun. Um, I should say this particular gun. I have uh, a lot of this was donated to me from coworker and family. Um, thank you to the coworker who lent this to me. Thank all. Uh, thank you all, you guys, for whoever stuck around for through all five parts. Um, I'll leave links in the description for all uh, all five parts of this video. Um, and uh, if you stuck around for the whole thing, I do appreciate it. And like, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends. Thanks.